So by now you guys know of a YouTuber here in Uganda by the name of Esther Natakunda. And she's come by the Repat Podcast on two separate occasions to talk about her experience living in Dubai. And while she does praise some of the positive things she's experienced with the Filipino community, she also talks about some of the downside of what is going on with the Filipino community. And as we know, there are good and bad people in the community. One of my best friends is actually Filipino myself, so I know that for sure. However, that isn't what is on trial here. What is on trial here is there any racism coming from the Filipino community towards blacks or Africans in Dubai? Now, my father is a nurse and we are from the West Coast, California to be exact. And as you know, I went to medical school. My dad is a registered nurse. Because of his interest in nursing and my grandmother's interest in nursing, that made me want to go into the medical field. But even when I was around 10 or 11 years old, I would always hear the issues that Filipinos had with African-Americans in California in the healthcare industry. I never really heard it from Nigerians or even from Hispanics, but I always heard it that there was a problem between Filipinos and blacks even at that time. I kind of brushed it off, you know, because, you know, anybody can have problems. But now coming back to what's going on in Dubai, I'm hearing the same thing all over again. And when Esther came on that first podcast, she made this statement about Filipino racism that shook the entire internet that day. Let's play the clip. How did the Arabs treat you in general in, in Dubai? Depends which Arabs. Yeah. Okay. Arabs, Emiratis, the owners of the country, UAE, I have never seen a bad one. For me, I take treatment from Arabs according to where they come from. Emiratis directly, they don't have time for that. According to me, I haven't seen that because they're not there to be your boss. You never find an Emirati being your boss. You're yeah. working for them. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So they are like on the top tier, so they're not going to be your manager. They don't have time to supervise you. They don't have these jobs. Right. Yeah. So you have the Arabs that you see. That is your Egyptians. Those are your Algerians. Uh -huh. Indians, they will treat you bad at a workplace because they have more privilege. Yeah. A Filipino racist. Is just Filipino bad. racism is in the air, on the road, on the train. Everywhere. So the key word here is Filipino racism. That means that racism that comes from Filipinos who are racist. It's not saying that all Filipinos are racist because she even says in this clip her best friend is Filipino. And this is what she says about her here. You have a Filipino best friend. Yeah. Did your best friend ever tell you why sometimes the Filipinos could be racist to certain Africans? I think she could even be far from that because the first workplace that I was in, that is where I met her. I have never seen, you know, you find someone of a certain color and you think they're going to be like the rest of the people. And then she's way far different from that. I think she just liked black people she's like um you look like a nice girl can we talk over lunch we go down she buys me food she was telling me i just want to warn you they tend to explore african people here it pisses me off you know mm. but they're going to do this and this and this and this to you do not agree if all fails i do not want them to humiliate africans i will help you oh that was your filipino best friend Straight, yeah that, that's how she came to me like that yeah. with that attitude we become friends and hey she told me the truth however much buddy they wanted to treat me she helped me all throughout. Even when life failed in Dubai, guys. Mm. Joanna st stuck with me. She helped me. So I was like, how? But why? She's like, you know what, girl? I also understand my fellow Kabayan sometimes. Woo, no. What? She knows it happens. The racism? Yeah, she knows this is how most of her people treat Africans. And that's her best friend, Joanne. So clearly, she's been treated nice by some Filipinos. She's not even insinuating that. But some Filipinos on the internet got really upset and took it offensively. And I have three clips that I want to review that go into that in great detail. Let's start with this gentleman. Okay, so let's fight about this. So she's saying that Filipinos racism is everywhere. And as for me, I would say that uh, not all Filipinos are 100% racist. And yes, that there might be some, but not all Filipinos are racist. So please don't generalize us, okay? Personally, there are several reasons why I don't like a person. Whether you're from North or South America, Africa, Asia, Europe, Australia, or even Antarctica, I don't give a f 
Number one on the list is hygiene. You guys are unhygienic. You can just go outside your place smelling so shit, okay? okay whenever you go outside, like for example, to your office, uh, to any workplace, to airport, to um, onboard the aircraft, everywhere you go, please do practice a good hygiene. Everyone deserves that. <laughs> Do you even know that most of the Filipinos are taking a bath like twice or even three times a day? But in my case, I only take a bath once and the rest are history. <laughs> so this guy says, well, there are reasons why I might not like somebody if they smell bad or if they this or if they are that. Clearly, he wasn't listening, right? And we can know that, but it's no problem. Let's go to this next clip treated this woman very bad come on <laughs> how could you how could you tell that filipinos are racist like you literally generalized everyone every single filipino you're calling us all of us racist i haven't even met you do you even know where i live and where in dubai did you actually stayed as if you have the list of, you know, the statistics of all the numbers of Filipinos who are living here and everyone treated you this way. Well, let me tell you something. Anywhere you go in this world, okay, you will find good and bad people. Even me, I have to deal with it. And sometimes I even think it's my luck. Anyway, I still say that it's all up to you and how you will react to racism. Here's another person that's also not listening as you just heard. Let's go to the next clip. To this beautiful girl, I'm just gonna let you know that not all Filipinos are racist. Racism is every corner of the world. Regardless of where you came from, what is your ethnicity, there will be always out there being racist towards other people, which is really sad. I myself experienced racism, but I did not generalize the idea that all of their kind is racist because I do have some friends that they're amazing. And um, there are some factors that we don't like um, and maybe people think that it's racist because the way they approach um, Filipinos, you can sense that they belittle us um they're so rude and then the way the way they engage the way they talk to us you can we could sense the vibe maybe the person that you met um uh, maybe you're just being rude to, to her or to him maybe just being disrespectful just because she's an asian and then filipinos are known as loving hospitable kind and they're like very, very loving towards other people. So if, if you treat them badly, they are the type, we are the type of personality that we do not take in. We always give it back to you. And as much as we could, we give it back 20 times. So it will be break even, right? So maybe that's what happened to you. Who knows, right? So let's just be chill, just chill. And then let's go to Esther's clip. Mahal, relax naman. When I say a Filipino racist English, my darling, I did not mean that every Filipino person is a racist. Because hey, once upon a time after I experienced all the racism from Filipinos, I finally got a friend that is Kabayan and she was not racist to me. And she actually hated it that her fellow Kabayans were even racist to black people. Um, have you checked the comment section where your fellow Kabayans are saying that, girl, we are actually racist? Maybe you need to go through your comment section as well. To all Filipino people that are racist, I have some medicine for you. Maybe, just maybe, if you stop bleaching and embrace your tannins, you will actually stop being racist. You ever look for a bed space or a petition or a master's bedroom and then they say Kabayan only? When Filipinos see you in a metro, <laughs> they run. You see... All of this is to get away from the point that there is some division between Filipinos and Africans in Dubai. And it's something that everybody knows. It's wildly talked about. I had another gentleman that lived in Abu Dhabi by the name of Steve Sarumba. 
he gave the first incident about his experience and he doesn't know esther but here's what he said about filipino racism in dubai i experienced more racism with the filipinos i don't know why these guys are more racist i just yeah. i think it's inborn in them but I love the fact that they cannot hide it. If a Philippine is racist, he will show it, so, <laughs> which is okay, because I can know that is straight out that he's my enemy, mm. and like and then someone who hides away, and uh, at the end of the, the back he stabs you with a knife or something like yeah. Mm-hmm. Give us an example of like what's that one racist incident that happened that it's by talk shook like your head. they keep on saying you are too black to live on earth. They you say are, that. Yeah, Whoa! Well, to your face. To your face, like they say to you. You see, guys, we need to really understand something and understand it very clearly. As blacks are Africans, when we are in other places, it is going to be us against everybody else. That's clearly. Right. I've heard so many people tell me that, you know, um, Kabayans only for hire when Filipinos run, you know, industries there, they're only hiring their particular group. And like I said, we can be upset about that if we want, but it's up to us to make the change to say, listen, we are blacks all around the world. We are Africans all around the world. We come from that, you know, that tree, however you want to view yourself. And if we don't somehow make it work, then we are going to be treated badly by other people. And I even asked Esther, do Filipinos know that blacks are you divided in Dubai? And she said this. I'm going to look for 1000 because you want the job and you're desperate, mm-hmm. you know. And then when you leave Uganda, you reach Dubai. This is the mentality that you have to pay for money to get a job, which is illegal. You're looking for the 1000 to give to fellow, your fellow Ugandans so that they can even take your CV. To where they are hiring. Tell me, do you think in the time that you're looking for the money to give this one, you think they're not going to use that two seconds to hire Kabayan? Whoa. This is why they succeed. They want good for themselves. Mm-hmm. But we, if I have it, you must not have it if we come from the same country. Or rather, if we're the same skin tone. Wow. So however much I blame Kabayan for... Do you you think the Filipinos realize that the blacks are also disorganized and unorganized? Oh, they know 100%. They know it. So they know that the blacks are not going to sit together. Yeah. Do they ever say that? 100%. What do they... Can you give give me an example of them noticing that and calling it out? You at work. So the attention will be most on you who is African. When I say African, I mean my skin tone. Because when we start going Northern Sudan and Egypt, we, yes, you're African, but you're Arab. So we're speaking African me. Mm-hmm. You are in a workspace, let's say Ugandans, Kenyans, Kabaya, and Indian. So the management is going to focus on you the most. Mm-hmm. Because African people, you're unpunctual, you don't have custom. So clearly people know. And while we should not be mistreated, when people know that you're divided, they are going to recognize that as a sign of weakness and this is not to say that filipinos are all bad or they're rude people because again my, my best friend one of my best friends on the planet earth is a filipino he grew up in a black neighborhood so we're not talking about that but the reality is is that people will refer their own group over you you can digest that as racism and they can try to say that hey well it's not all of us it's not everybody you know because they're not going to look at themselves and say you know what you're right we do exhibit that no they're going to take it defensively and then they're going to try to turn it back on you but the reality is is that a lot of africans in dubai or anywhere else around the world that are experiencing these issues need to understand the one mitigating factor that you can do is to start to work together that is what the ken ghana youtube channel is all about it's about bringing blacks together from all different walks of life You've seen us do it here. I'm an African-American. I came to Uganda and this podcast and channel has brought together many different people, not just blacks uh, in the diaspora, not just Jamaicans, and, but but everybody. I've, I've interviewed Kenyans. I've interviewed people from Malawi, people from Nigeria, people from everywhere uh, I've worked with on this particular channel to let all blacks know that we are all that we have. And when other groups see that as a weakness in us, it will be exploited and you can digest it as anything that you want and people will take up their time to deny it. But it will be up to you. 
it will be up to you in your city, in your country, in your neighborhoods to say, you know what? We need to make it better for us as a group. Let's try to help each other and stop trying to depend on somebody else to do things for you. Well, guys, it's your boy O'Shea D. Jackson. Back at it again with another episode here. I'm out.